Caregivers and governors in hot spots across the United States are sounding the alarm that they'll face a shortage of ventilators if coronavirus cases continue to surge. For many of those who become critically ill, their lives will depend on whether there are enough ventilator systems to save them. In total, American hospitals have approximately 160,000 ventilators. In a worst-case scenario, the U.S. need could be massive, up to 960,000 ventilators. This little company in Washington State, Ventec Life Systems, they're one of about five ventilator manufacturing companies in the U.S. and only about 12 worldwide. We're talking to federal, state, and local authorities. We are responding in the best way that we know how. We're trying to do as much as we can to increase our production capacity to meet the demand and help save lives. I spoke to two of the three of the big three car makers today, and they want to get going as soon as they can, as soon as they can. Even while the men and women may be off for two weeks, she's going to try to call them back uh, so they can produce ventilators. General Motors on Friday announced a formal partnership with Ventec Life Systems. General Motors sent some of its engineers to his factory in Washington State just last weekend. The commitment from GM has been overwhelming. From the first call that uh, Chris and his team had with some of our leadership, uh, they just started looking at how quickly can we do this. I've just gotten a press release. General Motors will build VOCSN at GM's Kokomo, Indiana manufacturing plant with FDA cleared ventilators scheduled to ship as soon as next month. The commitment from the GM team and the talent and the manufacturing know-how has really been incredible. The work that has happened has happened over what normally would take probably weeks has happened in days and sometimes hours. For our viewers who don't know, explain why these ventilators are so critical in saving lives. Ventilators help people breathe when they can't breathe on their own. Right now, a ventilator literally is the difference between life and death, people suffering from COVID-19. We tend to think about production in the hundreds or thousands. General Motors thinks about production in the millions. They have an incredible expertise in manufacturing. And together, that partnership is allowing us to think about scaling a very precise device in a very different way. Ventec and General Motors have done everything they can possibly do to be in a position to start making these ventilators ASAP. General Motors in Kokomo, Indiana rolled off the first ventilator and it did it in 11 days. That's incredible. Repurposing an auto factory to ventilators. It's amazing. It's, uh, you know, what they've done in a very, very short period of time. They're now making thousands of ventilators. We're going to see those ventilators go uh, as early as Thursday into hospitals in Chicago and Gary, Indiana. We're in a unique position to really help, and every Voxin we get out the door can save someone's life. This is our first ventilator shipment. The team members uh, that were involved in this project have all signed this box. On Monday, I walked in and my chief nursing officer, Dina, said to me, Mary, you'll never believe this, but I got a call from the White House. We're gonna be getting ventilators. I guess my hope is that um, we don't have to choose which patient is on a ventilator and which patient is not. So you can call this anytime, 24 hours a day. It's been an incredible partnership. You literally brought the best of American innovation with the best of American manufacturing. And together we made one family with one vision and one goal to save lives. All of these suppliers have just, uh, you know, moved mountains to be able to enable the production of ventilators. So it's really, that there's been this tremendous call to action and dedication of so many people to make this happen on the GM team, supported by the UAW, on the Ventec team, the supply base. It's, it's truly been incredible. And it, I think it's, it's just teams at their best.